See, this question is very simple question, but very highly conceptual question. You have to understand that. Whenever I am saying fx equal to fractional part of x, where it's discontinuous, it's discontinuous whenever x is integer. No confusion at all. If I say greatest integer x, where discontinuous whenever x is integer. Understood? But if I ask you, fractional part of some expression, maybe uh, let's say a plus greatest integer of b, this will be discontinuous when we will be, I'm assuming that this is doesn't have the maximum minima, it's a linear function, this one is linear. Because as you know, if it's a, having minima, then it will become continuous. The combination of fraction and greatest integer, right? it will be discontinuous if any one of this is the integer, either either A or B is integer, not both, not both. If A and B both integers, then this will be, then it's a continuous. Always keep in this mind, this kind of question they miss, can be good question used to be. So think carefully, fractional part of x by 5, fractional part of x by 5 will be discontinuous, discontinuous for x multiple of 5, multiple of 5. Now, now they already mentioned that x is between 0 to 100. How many integers are there which is multiple of 5? 21. How you know? Because 1 to 100. Multiple of 5 means greatest integer of 100 by 5, means 20. And 0 is also multiple of 5. So there is the 21. So means fractional of part of x by 5 will be discontinuous at 21 points. 21 points. Carefully understand this. Greatest integer of x by 2 will be discontinuous when? Whenever x by 2 integer, x by 2 integer when? When x is multiple of 2 means even number. So, 0 to 1 to 100, 50 even number and 0 is also even number. So, there will be 50 at 51 points. Understood? It means overall, I am getting what? Uh, 2 and uh, say. So, there are the 72 points, points where possible discontinuity, possible discontinuity. Now, here is a problem. What is the problem? When both are integer, then it will be continuous. If x by 5 and x by 2 both are integer, then it will be continuous. Means whenever x multiple of multiple of 10, then it's a continuous. Then it's a continuous. Are you getting my point? So how we will do we check it? 0 to 100, how many numbers are there which is multiple of 10? You can say. That will be your uh, uh, 10 plus 1, 11. So, there is the 11 points. So, it means it will be 11 points at 11 points. Did you understand my point? So, at 11 points, this is continuous. This is so that 11 point inside this is there or not? Yes. Here also is there. So basically, this is discontinuous. This will be discontinuous. Fraction part of x by 5 will be discontinuous. 21 minus 11 means uh, 10 points. Only 10 points. And greatest integer of x by 2 will be discontinuous at how many points? 11 if you subtract, only at 40 points. I hope getting all of you. So total answer will be, total number of discontinuity will be 50. 40 plus 10, all are different points. Did you understand my point? Everybody understand this. Okay. So this is the, what the uh, key point from this particular question, from this particular question, what is the key point? Get a stintier fx 
एफ एक्स आई शुड नॉट टेक इट बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू कि गेटेस्ट इंटीरियर एफ एक्स कैन बी कॉन्टिन्यूस वेन एवर एफ एक्स इज इंटीरियर समटाइम गेटेस्ट इंटीरियर ऑफ सपोज एनीथिंग एक्स बाई एनी एनी लीनियर ए इफ एस ए डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस वेन ए इज इंटीरियर कंडीशन ए शुड नॉट हैव मैक्सिमम मिनिमम फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ बी डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस वेन बी इज इंटीजर अंडरस्टैंड बट ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीयर ए प्लस फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ बी विल बी डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस ओनली वेन आईदर ओनली ए इंटीजर आर ओनली बी इंटीजर्स अंडरस्टैंड माई पॉइंट आर यू कैन से दैट की दिस ओनली बोथ शुड नॉट बी इंटीजर इफ बोथ आर इंटीजर देन इट विल बी कॉन्टिन्यूस कॉन्टिन्यूस इफ A and B both are integer. Both are integers. So that you have to subtract from here and from subtract from here. So I hope all of you understood this question.